Our protocol for an in vitro transcribed RNA-based luciferase assay helps study translation regulation in poxvirus-infected cells. Additionally, a customized length for the poly A leader allows studying its regulatory effects on translation. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows for the study of translation regulation by these elements such as 5' UTR and 3' UTR in mRNA and broad spectrum of translation initiation. The in vitro transcribed RNA-based luciferase report assay may be tailored to incorporate different RNA modification to cap and other internal RNA modification and used to test the effect on translation. To begin, design forward and reverse primers to generate PCR amplicon containing the following elements in 5' prime to 3' prime direction. T7 promoter, poly A leader, firefly luciferase ORF, and a poly A tail, referred to as T712AF look. Include several extra nucleotides in forward primer, followed by T7 promoter poly A leader or desired 5' prime UTR sequence and approximately 20 nucleotides corresponding to the 5' prime end of the reporter genes, ORF. Adjust the primer length based on melting temperature, corresponding to the 5' prime end of the reporter genes, ORF, ensuring that the corresponding region in the primer is identical to the sense strand of the gene. Then design reverse primer to include poly A tail and approximately 20 nucleotides. Adjust based on melting temperature corresponding to the 3' prime end of the reporter genes ORF, ensuring that the corresponding region of the primer is identical to the anti-sense strand of the gene and an in-frame stop codon is present before the poly A tail. For internal control, design another set of primers containing...